Does humanity know what it's doing? No. Um, I think we're moving into a period when, for the first time ever, we may have things more intelligent than us. Jeffrey Hinton, widely accepted as the godfather of AI, just quit his job at Google and has warned of the dangers of continuing to develop AI technology. Indeed, we've seen many sci-fi movies talking about AI taking over the world, and some of them have seemed a bit over the top, but that may not be the case anymore, according to Jeffrey Hinton, as they are gradually becoming a reality. As AI becomes increasingly advanced and widespread, concerns about its potential dangers are growing. Some individuals even speculate that AI could surpass human intelligence and become self-sufficient, spelling potential disaster as it takes over the world. Hinton, who is one of them, also boldly claims the threat of AI is now more realistic than we imagined, and everybody should be concerned. In this video, we'll delve deeper into the potential threats of artificial intelligence, why there's a need for concern, and some possible solutions. So let's dive right in. AI is getting smarter and more capable, and according to Jeffrey Hinton, a key figure in AI development, AI tools might become more intelligent than humans. There's a fear that they could decide to seize control. Jeffrey Hinton made headlines a few months ago when he left Google to discuss more openly the risks of AI, a technology he helped create. This move wasn't unexpected, considering the excitement surrounding AI's capabilities in late 2022 and the subsequent concerns that arose in 2023. Hinton emphasized that his departure from Google wasn't a criticism of the company, but a way to avoid conflicts of interest. His primary message was that AI could become uncontrollable and potentially harm humanity. He expressed these concerns after witnessing the power of large language models like OpenAI's ChatGPT. Some might argue that attributing human-like qualities to AI is unreasonable, as scientists often discourage anthropomorphizing non-human entities. However, Hinton believes it's reasonable because AI systems, when trained on vast amounts of digital data, learn to mimic human behavior and language. In addition, critics argue AI lacks real-world experience and merely predicts the next word in a sentence statistically. However, Hinton counters this by explaining that predicting words requires an understanding of the context and, in turn, an understanding of the world. He suggests AI can develop a form of understanding through this process. It's worth noting that Jeffrey Hinton isn't the sole prominent figure in the tech industry expressing concerns about the potential hazards tied to AI advancement. Let's not forget Elon Musk, the founder of OpenAI, Tesla, and SpaceX, along with more than a thousand other tech leaders, penned an open letter earlier in 2023. This letter called for a temporary halt to extensive AI experiments, citing the substantial risks it poses to both society and humanity. So far, nothing happened. Now let's take a closer look at the dangers that humans might encounter as AI continues to progress. First is the issue of job losses due to AI automation. The expansion of AI-driven job automation is a growing apprehension, touching various sectors such as marketing, manufacturing, and healthcare. McKinsey predicts that by 2030, AI could handle approximately 30% of the tasks currently performed in the United States. In fact, Goldman Sachs suggests AI might be responsible for the loss of 300 million jobs. Even high-skilled professions that usually demand advanced education and training, such as law and accounting, are not immune. Technology expert Chris Messina hypothesizes AI could reshape the legal field by deciphering intricate contracts and crafting optimal deals, potentially reducing the need for human lawyers. Secondly, there's also the case of social manipulation through algorithms. The advent of artificial intelligence has given rise to an unsettling problem, social manipulation. This issue has manifested in real life, particularly when politicians use online platforms to propagate their ideologies. An appropriate example arises from the 2022 election in the Philippines, when Ferdinand Marcos Jr. employed a cadre of online users on TikTok to sway the younger Filipino population. The situation becomes murkier because of AI-generated images and videos. Tools are available that can produce counterfeit images, videos, and even convincingly realistic voices. This has paved the way for complications like deep fakes, where an individual's image is replaced with another's in a photograph or video. Such technology enables the circulation of misinformation and content related to conflicts, 
leading to a crisis where distinguishing fact from fiction becomes exceedingly challenging. According to Ford, we find ourselves in a situation where trusting our own senses has become dangerous and the evidence we traditionally relied upon may no longer be a reliable benchmark. Let's address another pressing issue, which is social surveillance with the help of AI technology. Beyond the intimidating challenges we've discussed, we must also consider how AI might encroach on our privacy and safety. A descriptive example comes from China, where machines equipped with facial recognition capabilities are deployed in places like offices and schools. These machines amass substantial data, enabling them to monitor people's activities, social connections, and even their political inclinations. Additionally, in the United States, some law enforcement agencies employ computer programs to predict the locations of potential future crimes. These programs also analyze arrest data, and unfortunately, this disproportionately affects black communities. The continued focus on these areas results in excessive policing, raising questions about whether even democratic countries can prevent AI from becoming a tool for undue control. There's another angle to the issue of data privacy when using AI tools. If you've ever interacted with an AI chatbot or experimented with AI face filters online, your data is collected. But what happens to this data afterward and how is it used? AI systems often gather your personal information to enhance your user experience or to train the AI models you're engaging with, particularly if the AI tool is free to use. Sometimes your data might not even be secure from other users. In 2023, there was an incident involving ChatGPT where a mistake allowed some users to view conversations others had previously engaged in. While there are regulations in the United States designed to safeguard your personal information, there isn't always a specific nationwide law to protect individuals from the misuse of their data by AI. The issue of AI biases also looms large. It's a substantial concern, and as Princeton's computer science professor Olga Rosakovsky emphasizes, AI biases extend beyond just gender and race they run deeper. There are two primary types of bias, data bias and algorithmic bias. Interestingly, the latter can exacerbate the former. It's crucial to remember AI is created by people who inherently carry their own biases. In fact, most AI researchers tend to be men from specific racial backgrounds, often coming from privileged backgrounds and without disabilities. This leads to limited perspectives and a potential disregard for broader societal issues. This is why AI, although proficient in understanding language, sometimes struggles with various accents and dialects. Additionally, companies might not consider the ramifications of AI tools pretending to be historical figures, which could inadvertently lead to misinformation. Now let's explore another concern related to AI's societal impact. Another critical concern revolves around companies neglecting the inherent biases within AI algorithms potentially undermining their diversity, equity, and inclusion efforts. This issue is particularly evident when AI is used in the hiring process. The idea that AI can assess a candidate's suitability based on their facial features and voice still carries unfair racial biases, perpetuating the very hiring biases that companies aim to eliminate. Furthermore, AI-driven job displacement exacerbates economic inequality, and this is a significant worry. AI affects various socioeconomic classes differently, revealing its inherent biases. Manual laborers face substantial challenges, with wages plummeting by as much as 70% due to machines assuming their roles. In contrast, office workers often remain unaffected, and some even experience increased earnings. Assertions that AI erases social disparities or creates more jobs cannot convey the complete picture. It's imperative to scrutinize how AI's impact varies based on factors such as race and socioeconomic class. Neglecting this analysis makes it difficult to discern who truly benefits from AI and automation while others suffer. Moving forward to another pressing issue, a substantial concern linked to the rise of AI is the potential loss of human interaction. Reliance on AI technology runs the risk of diminishing human empathy and critical thinking particularly in fields like healthcare, where human connections are crucial. Similarly, the widespread use of generative AI for creative tasks could erode human creativity and emotional depth. Increased interaction with AI systems may also lead to reduced peer interactions and weakened social skills. Ultimately, 
the most significant apprehension centers on the possibility of AI's uncontrollable self-awareness. The fear is that AI's intelligence could advance so rapidly that it develops into a sentient entity, operating beyond human oversight and potentially engaging in harmful actions. If you've watched this video all the way through, we'd love to hear your thoughts. Drop a comment below to let us know you've gained some insights from the content. For more interesting topics, subscribe and make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.